Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel Spin for Heaven Fellowship. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is my journey vlog part 4 for the Norwegian Masters. So as you probably can see I'm a bit tired. Um, I've got um, five and a half hours of sleep. And uh, yeah, so I'm ready for three battles today. Um, I have won all my games so far. So I kind of want to try to compete for the actual title. Uh, I didn't expect to actually win uh, all of my games so, uh, yesterday. So I was hoping to just have um, a bit of a relaxed atmosphere. But I'm playing against Philip. Uh, bit of a competitive player so um, yeah I'll probably lose that one um, we'll see which uh, which scenario it is if I'm playing him in, in uh, Lord's Battle I probably have a very good chance but if it's any other thing um, then uh, then it goes to him I'm pretty sure so we'll, uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm heading off now to the uh, gaming hall. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you soon. So we are here at the venue. Um, all except one have arrived on time. Uh, we have one that's still in transit. But that's worked out fine. So uh, we are among the earliest people to start, it seems. Uh, War Machine Holds is underway. Looks like 40k and Age of Sigma is preparing to get started as well. And we're starting now in uh, about five minutes' time. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, early bird gets the worm, so uh, we are first off. So there's, there's different schedules for the different tournaments around the hall. So uh, some people stay up later and start later and some people like us um, start early. So that's, uh, that's wonderful. So we're still waiting on the mission. Uh, I'm going to play again on this wonderful board. Uh, very cool. So it's either Lord's Battle, uh, the uh, Ancient Heirloom scenario or uh, Hold Ground. I am facing not Sauron, uh, but the Undying on Felbeast, Kardush, uh, Witch King on the foot, uh, and uh, loads of Black Numenorians and Moranans and some Trackers and some Normal Orcs and one Spectre. Yeah. So, uh, I'm hoping for Lord's Battle. What's uh, up with your voice, anyway? My voice? Yeah. Yeah, I've been... You sound like you've been drinking whiskey all night. I haven't. Are you sure? Yes, I haven't. I took two beers yesterday. Two beers. Oh. So, uh, so, yeah. Just a gruff voice. Uh, so you want to go for the sort of a dark, sexy person in the morning? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping for... Lords of Battle, but um, as long as it isn't hold ground against this uh, stuff, I'm pretty pretty happy. Okay, I, I, I can work with the ancient elements, I think. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> so I am here, and uh, we have uh, been drawn the mission, and it was the uh, ancient heirlooms. So not the best thing and not the worst thing I could get. I could have gotten whole ground and uh, that would be the worst thing for me. So um, we have already started playing and um, Philip got the heirloom on turn one on the first try. So uh, he's a bit lucky and now he's gotten a good roll with Kardush getting them on to the board where he wanted them. So uh, it's going to be an uphill battle for me from here on in. Um, so far three, three will used on the Undying, so, uh, so yeah, we will come back, 
with the post battle matter of breakdown afterwards. All right, so we ended the game against Philip. Um, it was uh, an uphill battle. He found the uh, heirloom in the first turn, uh, no, second turn, and um, he just bunkered onto the corner. Uh, I used my to not come onto the table, stuff like that. So um, the game ended with only Thimble losing his uh, his Warg uh, and uh, Fate Point. Uh, the rest have everything. I had one chance in the last turn to turn it into a 4-3. Um, win to myself if Volg had managed to make a leap test um, to charge the Undying uh, on Felbeast. Uh, he rolled a 5 and he was one model off um, to get Mighty Hero, so he didn't have that. So I did my very best, but uh, sadly it was an 8 2 victory to Phil. So I'm now going to play the next game, so we'll come back with the, uh, with the opponent. So we are back with game number five. So uh, so I'm playing the venerable Andreas Jansson, the other Andreas as you might know him from the channel. Uh, he's of course playing his all-mounted Rohan, uh, which is uh, Urkenbrand, Earl the Young, one son of Earl, um, 18, 18 Westfall Red Shields and Saruman on the horse. So, um, and we're playing Lord's Battle. And I have five models and you have <laughs> um, 20, 21 or 20, yeah, 22 models. So, um, so it's going to be um, epic, I think. So, um, so let's come back after the game with our post-battle battle breakdown. All right, so we are back with the post-battle battle breakdown uh, and um, there are carcasses of horses lying all about the battlefield. Um, there is. <laughs> uh, whirling Azog, uh, Bol getting to, well, eight kills only, but uh, Nasu, no, um, Yasneg sacrificing himself so that, um, so that uh, Urkenban used his final point of might to heroic strike to, uh, uh, no, to, to win the combat after the heroic yeah, strike. Yeah, that was. So, uh, so yeah, it was at a slaughter. So it ended with 36 kills to me. And seven two, yeah. or seven points two. Uh, you took out all the wargs though, um, the wargs, except, except the, the white wargs. <laughs> white wargs survived, uh, and uh, and yeah, it was uh, absolute slaughter. Um, Jansson made a mistake moving um, Saruman the little wrong way. I, the, I expected to a sources pass to get through, but sadly he resisted on one die. <laughs> yeah, I used all, <laughs> my, all my might to uh, <laughs> to uh, to resist the sources pass. And does uh, just now Darsug came through with uh, hero combat? Yeah, Nazo came through with hero combat, pinned him, and then Azog heroically combated into um, into that fight. Indeed. I wish um, I got a fight of 10. Because you, you struck <laughs> up, but you got a 2 or something? Only a 1. <laughs> Only 1, yeah, okay. So, uh, so Saruman was pretty dead. Um, I don't... Yeah, you got 5 wounds. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that was pretty horrible. Indeed. And, uh, and yeah, so the rest of the combat game went that I piggybacked combats to, um, to not get shot at. <laughs> And then uh, when Ball got up to uh, up to his uh, his aura of uh, minus one courage, uh, that meant that yeah, Errol the young <laughs> and a yeah. son of Errol was left alive on the table. But sadly, your general was Saruman, so it yeah. ended with a 12-0 victory to me. But a fun game. Um, I really like playing <laughs> Azog's Hunters, the the all hero army, because it's they are a horrible das hammer. They they strike hard and fast, but, but you have the fight body on your side. Yeah, and if all the mites, if if the wargs die, um, they are slow, yeah. but they are still quite good. That was my intended to take it down the rules, but it was too late. <laughs> so I'm on four wins, one loss um, currently. Yourself? Yeah, three wins, two losses. Three wins, two losses. So and I scored 12 VP. So I might go into uh, a tough game. We'll see what else happens. <laughs> Might be a repeat with uh, with Philip. So, uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens, um, and we'll come back. Okay, so um, final game, and it's me against Philip in the final. Uh, I have won four. He has won five. He's ahead with two victory points against me in the tournament. 
that means I have to claim at least a 3 0 victory uh, in, the, uh, in the game. So, um, so if nothing else, um, if I hold the objective in the middle, I can get three victory points. So that's the minimum I have to do. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, good luck to my opponent, and uh, let's come back afterwards with a small post-battle battle breakdown. All right, so we are back, and as you can see behind me, the hall is uh, has been packed down uh, in the last game. Um, I don't think I've had so much bad luck in a game uh, in my entire life. Um, I had Bolg, Azog, Fimble and Yasneg uh, all charging into a line of Orcs without any fury, without anything. And um, for about an hour I rolled three highest when it mattered. Uh, in combat to wound, stuff like that. Um, only light point in the game was Nazug um, taking two wounds off the fell beast in two consecutive rounds. But that was about it. So, uh, so sadly, I, uh, I lost that game 9-0 uh, to uh, to the new reigning Norwegian champion uh, Philip. So, uh, so congratulations, to him, And uh, I think we'll come back with the. Uh, with the uh, award ceremony after the, uh, the break now. Well, here we are with the award ceremony. The uh, host of players have uh, gathered and now the TO Wild will uh, present the winners. Yep. Uh, I'm starting with the wooden spoon. Wooden spoon, the Magnus. <laughs> and it goes to Magnus. So every single one of the players getting on the last place in our tournaments uh, get the uh, their name on their wooden spoon. It's kind of a wandering profile. Kristoffer, Oli Arnold, Nikolai, Mikkel, Jørgen, Stig, Andreas Jansson, Mai, Marius, Nils. So third place. Andreas over Woo! It's me! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so a nice uh, engraved uh, thing with a gift card from Tabletop Battle. Uh, kind of put me down a few things. So Sebastian on uh, second place. And also a gift card from Table to Battle. Congratulations. Andreas had 9 points. And 37 scenario points. And Sebastian had also 9 points. But 48 scenario So beat me on victory points. Sixth place. Sixth place. Sixth place. Sixth place. Uh, Philip. So Philip getting the first place. He beat me twice in this tournament. Congratulations, Sim. And the most important award of all. Uh, we best painted also. Uh, det blev lite halvvägs uh, genomförligt det är inte men uh, det blev det var jämnt för oss men uh, Sebastian and it goes to Sebastian for best painted uh, it's fair to know that they also held a competition for the entire event event and Sebastian won best painted for the entire event for a single miniature so congratulations to Sebastian there Ja, for det er alltid gøy. Hva innbyrdes konkurransen jevnere enn Amstadien? Hva sa du? Som innbyrdes konkurransen av Amstadien. Ja, det var en stemme mer til Sebastian enn Andreas. Oi! So wow, Sebastian got uh, one more vote than me for best painter. That's uh, totally unexpected. Uh, yeah. okay. He's he's an entirely different league. So uh, thanks to the TO, thanks to all the participants at the event. Thanks to Table to Battle for the prizes. Um, this, 
det er noen som har mulighet til å være med og hjelpe til med å pakke sammen, så er vi veldig takknemlige for det. Vi har for så vidt 55 minutter, men det er fint som vi er ferdige. For dere som har bakkort, så er vi fremdeles åpne for det. So that's us uh, logging off. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, please comment, like, share and subscribe. Support us on Patreon uh, with the link below. And support your hobby.